Hello kittens, it's me David Contreras from Tarantula Clothing Company saying hello again. So, um, I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people, uh, you know, the younger ones, don't know how to tie a tie and they ask me here and there, so let me be the first to show you. Here I got my trusty little fall colored vintage tie a la 40s, I think it's uh, silk. Yeah, it's pretty much silk. And so, ties are like, uh, if you want people to take you serious or, you know, they're a product from like the Victorian era or something like that. So, here goes. Look it. I made my own. This is called a wingtip collar shirt. They make them like that for tuxedos because this is what they did at first and then it morphed into, first you flicked a big a standard collar up like this and you press these two down so like that. That was the style in the 20s or something. And so now, anyway, when you're doing your regular shirt for weddings or work or whatever, you normally, I start with a smaller um, tie on my left side and the longer one on my right. And I, it starts like where your rib cage is, I put the short one. Well, depending on your tie, I want it long kind of. So this is pretty much a standard length. So first you cross over like that, make an X, right? And then you put the big one over, loop it over, like you're going to tie a shoe. You know, in the first knot for a shoe tie? Like that. Now, if you want a single Windsor, which is one knot here, you, again, with the longer one, pass it over, pull it a little, put your finger there, wrap it around again, like a little taco burrito thing. See, and then your two fingers in there, you... Put the longer one in the hole and pull. Now, you could pull and arrange, squeeze this tie as you're pulling. It makes the tie skinny, you see? And so, look, now they're almost the same length. And then with the little one is the adjuster, see? You pull it so it fits snug around the neck. And then you pull down your collar like so. And there you go. That's a single Windsor knot. We could do a double one too. So, the double one is you hold the hold here on the neck and then you pull the big knot like that and it comes undone, okay? So, you, with the seams on the bottom, again, where's the seam? This print, you can't even see the seam. Okay, again, I put it here. I cross the longer, thicker one over, do the tie again like a shoe, bring it over, and then bring it over the this part of the tie, the neck piece, and then so now you're like this, right? Now you do the same thing with you did with the single, you flip this over, you bring it underneath, see, under here, you pull it out, then you got this hole, see my fingers? Then you shove this one in, and then you pull. Ooh, breaking threads. You could squeeze this if you want it skinnier, which I do. And then with the adjuster, you pull. You see this one got a little bit longer. For the Windsor, you have to make this one shorter from the beginning, I guess. Anywho, so this is it. This is a double. See how thick the tie is, the knot? But it looks more asymmetric because you've got a loop here and a loop there. And then you bring it around, bring it up, and then bring it down. Bring it around, up, and then down through the hole. Ta-da! There was a thing with the rabbit and the hole. I don't know. Then you could fix your uh, knot, I mean the crease. You see the crease in there? You could pull and, f and play with it so it looks like a little bit more symmetric on one side as opposed to the other, like this, see? And there you go. So, you know, some people, you know, the rebels, of course, for, first you fix your collar. So the rebels like to do, um, like to either the first hole of the buttons or the second hole of the buttons, they like to tuck their tie in. Just to say, yeah, even though I'm wearing a tie, I'm not that stuffy, see? And then with your thumb in the back of the tie, you push it out like that. See? 
and you could go like that. And it makes, if you don't have a tie tack or you just want it to look a little cuter, cuter, like that. You could even uh, unloosen the tie, unloosen your top uh, knot, I mean your button on the shirt, and then this is more like at the end of the day, relaxing, kind of ready for some action, more on the casual, sexy vibe. Or you can, um, you could do that and do this to show like you're a double rebel, like whatever. Kind of on the sloppy side, I get it. But it's kind of like on the ascot side too. So either one. Or you could put a tie tack. Doop. I like to put my tie tacks kind of up so you capture both of them right here. I should get a tie tack. Oop, hold that thought. So look what I got, a tie tack. See, this is has the little teeth that holds the tie and a little diamond just for glamour. You could, if you want it real together look, button your button. Hopefully COVID didn't make your shirt too tall. Uh, pull the adjuster, smaller one. Fix your collar, adjust your knot, then Open this up, slide it in, get your shirt opening too, so it ha attaches to the shirt. And there you go. Make sure there's no crease. There we go. Okay. And since I have French cuffs, these uh, cuffs with the two holes, you wonder where the hell the buttons? Well, you could put cufflinks, see? And what you want to do is put the cuffling in one of the holes on the top. See? There. Get in there. And then one on the bottom of the cuff. See? Making it like that. A little sandwich. Then you get the other ones on the bottom. The bottom one first. Sometimes if you have a date, it's real sexy to help you get a dress so you tell them can you put my cufflinks on for me that's always hot in my book so you get the bottom and you get this one too see a little point and then you just move this little lever and it holds it from falling out see and then you got your cufflink mm -hmm. with your tie tack and your cufflink hello we're styling and he put it on the other side. Et voila! I just added a little vest. Why not add a little lapel? See? And then, sometimes I top it off with a little cocktail ring. Ooh. Maybe a pinky ring with a little bling to it. And or, if you really want to show that you're a wild rockabilly, you put a little skeleton ring that acts, you could also... Open your can of beers with uh, the bottles of the beer with that. See that mouth? Anyway, so that's our little tutorial. The vests are at uh, shoptarantula.com and all the other skills are on my YouTube channel. Get dressed up, get glamorous, boys. Bye. Shoptarantula.com.